Problem 5-81 asks us if the height in meters of an object traveling vertically is represented by the function h of t equals negative 4.9 t squared plus 21 t plus 3, where t is measured in seconds, find its a starting velocity, b starting position, and c maximum height. So part A asks us to find the starting velocity, and so to find that we need the velocity equation, which is the same as the slope function of the height equation. So um, the velocity equation is negative 9.8t plus 21, and then to find the starting velocity, we have to set the velocity, uh, we have to find the velocity when time is zero, because that's the start, the beginning. So plug in zero for t, and that gets you the velocity is 21 meters per second here. Part B asks us to find the starting position. So we have to use the position equation, which they originally gave us, and plug in zero for t because um, to find the starting position, you need to find the time at zero um, when it starts. So plugging in zero, negative 4.9 times zero squared plus 21 times zero plus three, you get three meters is the starting position. Part C asks us to find the maximum height. So to do that, we need to set the velocity equation equal to zero because in a velocity graph, um, when the velocity is zero, that's when that's the point at which um, it's changing from like going the, into a positive direction to a negative direction when the position is. So that's finding the maximum height. So we have to set um, that velocity equation equal to zero like we did here. Um, and then we get the time equal to 0.143 seconds, but that's just the time of the maximum height. And we're asked, we're asked to find the, um, just the maximum height. So we have to put um, this time into the original, velo uh, bug sorry, position equation. Um, so we plug that in 2.143 for T in that equation, and we get 25.500 meters as the maximum height.